Hello and welcome once more again to this channel Smart and Healthy Living where we bring you facts, we bring you fun related to health and nutrition and I'm so happy that today I need to explore an interesting topic related to diabetes myths and misconceptions that you, have, you could have probably had and you're wondering is it true or not so kindly join me and let's learn until the end welcome Myth number one, does eating sugar cause diabetes? To enlighten you, diabetes is a chronic degenerative condition that is marked by high blood sugar levels in the blood and uh, resulting from the ability, inability of the body to produce enough insulin or the insulin that is there is not sufficient enough or the cells cannot respond to this insulin effectively. Thereby, there are so many contributing factors that will lead to diabetes, genetics, lifestyle, and some other cardiovascular condition or other related medications and medical conditions that can cause diabetes. However, indulging in too much simple sugars, for example, from cakes, sodas, may lead to obesity or overweight, which is a risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. So diabetes in itself is not caused by sugar, it has other contributing factors, but when you engage in excessive consumption of simple sugars, you might end up becoming obese or overweight, and therefore type 2 diabetes. As we continue, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, comment and share, and hit this bell button so that you don't miss out. Myth number two. People with diabetes should avoid carbohydrates completely. Hell no. Carbohydrates being the main source of energy that helps to fuel so many functions in the body and major organs like the kidney, the brain, as is very vital in the functioning of activities for diabetics. Also, carbohydrates is also a source of other nutrients that are actually needed by people to function. So when people with diabetes avoid carbohydrates completely, they run the risk of becoming hypoglycemic, a condition where the blood sugars run below the normal levels, leading to other life-threatening complications like unconsciousness, which is not good for people with diabetes. So for this case, diabetics should indulge in consuming a complex carbohydrates and also observing moderation or portion sizes when they are eating carbohydrate-rich foods. So people with diabetes need a special kind of a meal. Despite what the market is offering outside there with packaged foods that claims to offer special nutrients for diabetics, people, diabetic people do not actually need any kind of special meal, but they need to eat a balanced diet that is limit, limited in simple sugars, low in fat, low in sugars, and low in salt, so as to manage their condition. So these packaged things that only claim to offer special things for diabetic patients, they are actually just expensive for nothing, and they may also contain some alcohols that may offer a laxative effect on the GIT, on the gastrointestinal tract of the diabetic therefore causing other complications. People with diabetes do not need to engage in any physical activities. Remember guys, physical activities is very vital for the functioning of the body and for diabetics, it's an important factor in controlling blood sugar levels, maintaining a healthy weight, and also increasing the insulin sensitivities. So, in the end, maintaining blood sugar levels because we need to avoid complications related to diabetes. However, for people with diabetes, they need to exercise precautions when they are choosing a sport, putting into consideration so many factors like uh, how far, how the sugar levels are in the blood or any medical complication like eye problem or feet problem. But in the final goal is we need to engage in mild exercises to function normally if we are diabetics. So another common myth, 
people with diabetes should not eat any type of fruit. That's really I'm sad. Fruits, apart from being the source of nutrients like vitamins and minerals, is also a great source of fiber, which will help people with diabetes to control their blood cholesterol, therefore maintaining a healthy weight, and also maintaining their blood sugar levels within the normal ranges. So you find that other foods like carbohydrates or animal proteins do not contain this vitamin C in enough amount, but fruits contain vitamin C, vitamin A, and other vitamin B vitamin complex, which is very vital for the functioning of diabetic people because they are prone to low immunity. So people with diabetes should eat fruits, but exercise portion sizes so that they maintain their blood sugar levels within the normal ranges, given the fact that fruits also contain their carbohydrates, like sucrose. So my advice, incorporate different or variety of fruits in your daily intake to maximize on various nutrients. Most famous myth, no alcohol for diabetics or my alcohol consumption does not affect my current situation as a diabetic. So which is which? Alcohol, for alcohol we advise you avoid it because alcohol one, interferes the, with the way the liver functions and two, will interfere with your medication causing hypoglycemia. However, if you are a diabetic and there are those good moments that you need to engage in and you find reaching for a bottle of wine or alcohol or spirit is something that's something good that you need to engage in, kindly exercise cautions. How? Accompany with your alcohol with a source of carbohydrates and stick to the recommended portion sizes. For example, I want to drink beer Let's stick to 330 ml of a can, 175 ml of wine or half a glass, and one shot of spirit. Mark, I said one shot of spirit. So before you also drink, make sure you know the level of your sugar in the blood. Another myth, let's fill that plate with a lot of proteins because they will not they will not lead to sugar spiking. One thing you should know, proteins, however, as much as they are not going to make your blood sugar rise like carbohydrates, they also contain their carbohydrates. And if eaten in excess, it will either be converted into fat or glucose, leading to a rise in blood sugar levels and weight gain. So if you're not using protein for other sources like uh, muscle building, Kindly exercise portion size and let's stick to a diabetic person eating a balanced diet that has variety of foods and exercising portion to maintain blood sugar levels within their normal levels. So the final and the most amusing misconception or myth, diabetes is contagious. I can get diabetes when I'm nursing somebody who is having diabetes or just staying around them, I sneeze diabetes. What a ridiculous statement. Diabetes is not contagious and it cannot be transmitted like a sexually transmitted infection. So whenever you're near somebody who is suffering from diabetes, kindly feel free to interact with them, also helping them because they also suffer from some psychological problems like stress and depression. So when you put a smile on them, they live longer. In conclusion, sugar does not cause diabetes since we have explored various factors that, are, that may lead to diabetes. People with diabetes should not avoid carbohydrates completely. Three, a little alcohol won't kill your system as long as you're exercising portion sizes and putting into consideration your medical condition. Eating a balanced diet is recommended rather than engaging in one type of nutrient for you to get the benefits. Diabetes as well as just other people should also eat fruits since they offer various nutrients and antioxidants to help them boost their immunity. Then guys, diabetes is not contagious. 
please help our brother or our sisters outside there to manage this condition. Thank you so much. I want to thank those people who have been reaching out to me, commenting on the channel, liking and subscribing, and those ones who have gone to another extent of sharing. Your support is really appreciated. For those ones who are new to this channel, I advise you kindly subscribe to this channel and follow the channel to find out more topics that we have talked about. Thank you so much again for tuning in until the end.